And Taylor Martinez joins us now, quarterback of the Huskers. We talked about this a bit in the spring. It has certainly been a major topic of conversation. You tweaked your throwing motion a little bit. Mm -hmm. Give us a sense of what you worked on and what it's going to look like. From when I went back to California, the quarterback coach out there that I've been working with was, he. at first I was kind of maybe dropping a little bit. He had me try to tweak it, maybe coming across a little bit. It's a process, but hopefully eventually I could start coming across with it instead of coming down with it. Taylor, everyone's talking about it's the second year in Coach Beck's offense. Give us some examples of how that's helped you know the offense. It's helped me tremendously just because this is going to be the first time I'll be going into the second year offense in high school and little league football and stuff like that. I've never really gone in, into a second year offense. Coach Watson left after the, after my first year being a starter quarterback, and then Coach Beck is coming in for the first year with his new offense, so this will be my second time. It seems when you come to the line of scrimmage, you have a, a great grasp of reading the secondary and what's going on, and, and you're making some checks. How much freedom do you have to make some of those checks there? Um, I could check into anything I want. The defense for the past few days, we've been working on maybe just a lot of odd fronts for them. Cover zero was today, odd front was today. So today, sometimes I can really tell if they're going to come or not. And Coach Bo is really good at disguising it. So <laughs> sometimes he got me, sometimes I got him. Martinez moving up this chart. If he keeps up his production over his final two seasons of eligibility, he will obliterate Heisman winner Eric Crouch's total offense mark here at Nebraska. Should move into second place on this list within the first week or two of the season.